Hello guys, welcome to the first short learning video session of Intellect Pentomet. Our first session is on learning JabRef, which helps in managing references. So let us understand few important terms here. So first is bibliography. Bibliography is list of all the reference material you consulted during your research for the report. Hence all the material that you have referred will be going under the bibliography. Next is reference. Reference is a footnote piece of information within the text of your writing. That provides an acknowledgement that you are using someone else's idea. So, what is the difference between reference and bibliography? Bibliography is detailed list of uh, reference cited in your work. Plus, means additionally, bibliography adds the background readings or the material that you have read, but not actually cited. Let us go to the uh, next. That is reference list. So, it includes all the references that have been cited in your text of your report okay uh, listed in a sequential order at the end of the report we have already seen that each reference in the reference list needs to contain all the bibliographic information from a source so we'll be going through this point in our next slide so let us go to the sequence in which i have mentioned all my references for a project report and this sequence may change according to the university criteria journal criteria or simply by your guide First comes the name of the author, then comes the title, then uh, next is your journal and uh, your volume and the last is year. And if you will be seeing then I have followed the same sequence that is author, title, journal, volume and year, right? So going to the next slide, on the left top of the screen are the references which are typed in word and on the right top of the screen are the references I have mentioned by using the JBREF. Let's go for the advantages and disadvantages of both of them. So, uh, first point shows that without using JBREF, it's hard to follow the sequence. On the other hand, with the help of JBREF, one can simply put all the reference under a sequence, okay, or on a, under a particular order. We have already gone through that in our last slide. So, second point shows that due to randomly writing the data, it is hard to read and interpret it while we are using JBREF, then it gets easy to read and interpret the data because we know at which position exactly the bibliographic information is been there. For supposing in our last slide, we have already seen that the first position was the name of the author, then title and so does go on. So third point is obvious that it is if the typing is more, then it will be consuming more time while the typing is less, then it will be consuming particularly less time. And the last point says that when you are preparing formal report, research or review paper, then it is obvious that large amount of data should be in a large amount of data that has been surveyed, okay, that has been reviewed. And uh, so does your references increases. Like uh, in a proper formal or technical report, there are more than 40, 50 references sometimes. And even a, a scientific research paper or review paper, you can see more than 120 or 125 references. So after completing the report, it is a big headache if you are typing all those references. Okay, so uh, under JBREF, you can simply mention n number of references within few seconds. So let us uh, now go through what JBREF does. So here is the uh, logo mentioned of the JBREF. Then JBREF is a free, uh, free of cost and used to manage your reference. How? It helps you to collect, organize, cite and sequence the reference. Now we'll be going through the four steps that we will be uh, uh, knowing that uh, which, we, which we will taught us that how to use JBREF. So first of all, we'll be downloading the JBREF. Next is uh, JBREF interface. Then uh, we will be using JBREF. And last is managing our references in Word. Okay, so uh, let us first of all download the JBREF. So I will simply write JBREF download. Okay, I will look getting to the first this First of the site of the official site of the JBREF, I will come down and I will click on download the JBREF. So uh, if you are uh, actually having here, here guys, I have already downloaded the JBREF setup, okay, which is here. So you need to install it afterward. If you are a Windows user or a RPM or Linux or Mac user, then you can download the version of the JBREF accordingly. So after downloading the version of the JBREF, so this kind of icon will appear. So let me just start the web, uh, JBREF so that we can know the interface of JBREF, right? So this is basically the interface of the JBREF. 
file edit library, uh, quality tools, view options and help. And uh, the other are these options on the right side. Uh, this with one with the plus sign. Okay, these options uh, will be only accessible once uh, you are creating new library under the file option, right? Uh, basically, under the file, we will be using import export option, and for the day, we will be using this export all entries option. So, under the new library, let me go to the new, new big text library. Okay, so this is our library, and we will be adding all the articles here. So suppose I'm carrying a research or I'm carrying a report, I'm making a report on a asphalt compaction machine. So hence I need to review many of the uh, research or review papers. Uh, therefore I have used this keyword of research paper here. We'll be going under scholarly articles for the search. Then let me take only those articles which are having more citation, right? So I will be taking uh, 962, I will be taking the 62 one citation, then 1517, 62, again 62 citation. That is quite good. And once 106, okay, that is also quite a good citation, then eight and 12, yeah. So we will be going through these eight, uh, we'll be going through these three uh, reports, right? Three articles, okay. So now every article or report which are uh, authentic and are being uh, mentioned online or on digital platform contains its DOI number that is digital object identifier. Okay, so this number helps in identifying the article and differentiating the article from the others. So my all of the three articles are having their DOI number, right? You can see on the screen. So let me just copy the DOI number. Now guys, one thing that we are assuming that I have used the, the some of the material from these articles, okay? Like, uh, we are assuming that I have used material from this article in my report making. I'll be going under JBREF, I'll be adding a new entry from here, right? New entry option. Then I'll be selecting ID type as DOI. You can select those accord accordingly, okay? according to what uh, uh, what is available what search is available in your for your article okay so let me just paste the id and let me ask jabref if if jabref can uh, find the information okay so jabref has find the information so guys here i have just added the doi number and with only doi number jabref is giving me the name of the author the bib text key then journal then title year then month in which it's been published, then number, volume, and page number, and hence I am having all the details which I am going to mention in my references. We will be doing this process for other two articles also. Again, guys, uh, let me repeat that uh, we are assuming that I have used these articles. Okay, I have used those things. So here is uh, here are the author of the second articles. Okay, uh, journal title and year right now simply we'll be repeating this procedure for the third one i will be copying the doi number i will go under jabref again click on the new entry and id type will be my doi and i will be pasting and i will ask jabref to generate the information of the particular article by using only the doi number and jabref has again done its work now guys in some cases in some cases, DOI number won't be available. So under that, what you can do, you can simply copy the title, go to Jabref, then uh, without, uh, we, we, would, we won't be going to new entry now, we'll be going to new article. And you can simply paste the title here. Simply you can paste the author, journal, year here, okay? So you can even manually copy and paste the information here. Okay, let me just delete because it was just for the sake of understanding. Now, because we are done with this, let me just close the Google. Now, what I will be doing that we, I have used these three articles, okay, in my report. So I will be going under file and I will export all the entries. So I will be exporting under the desktop and I will uh, write A, B, C, D. I will name the file as A, B, C, D. Now, guys, other thing which we have to take care of is save type as you have to go under MS Office 2007, right? I will be saving this. Once it has been exported successfully, you can simply close the JBREF. Okay. Now I have, I am actually going to make this report. Okay. This is my report. Okay. Definitely report uh, uh, contains more pages. Okay. But for the sake of example, I have taken this data. So now under, we will be going under references and we will manage the sources here. We will go to 
browser right then desktop and this abcd folder which we have exported uh, from jbref i will be selecting it and i will be taking all these three articles and copy hence i have linked those exported file or exported articles of jbref from jbref to this word okay so once you have exported from there and you have linked here it means that under insert citation under references those three articles are mentioned okay so suppose my first paragraph i have taken from the article third article so yeah uh, 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 the first uh, uh, note is been made so my second paragraph suppose has been come from the second and my last paragraph i have taken from the first article okay so guys uh, this one two three is actually in sequential order okay it's not according to the sequence uh, that has been mentioned under insert citation right so guys what i will be uh, what we are actually assuming now that this material is been taken from first reference this material is taken from second and similarly this material is taken from the third reference but where are the reference so with few clicks uh, that is under going going under bibliography option under references i will simply go to the second open option that is reference and i will click on that okay hence now okay uh, sorry i have actually not uh, used here yeah so i will be going under bibliography and under references hence my references have been mentioned here without even a single click now guys what is the advantage of using this that if you are co uh, pay, uh, copying the if you are cutting this paragraph and pasting it on the first the reference you just need to go under update citation and bibliography and the third reference will automatically uh, be at the first reference right so guys uh, this was the simple use of rechebref and managing your references you can see that reference are been managed in a particular order that is first is name of the author then the title and so on so you can actually change those style okay under this but i generally prefer i triple a format okay so guys uh, this was how we can use jbref okay we will be going back to our ppt right and uh, i uh, we would end this particular session so guys we have learned how to download jbref jbref interface use of jbref and managing references please do download the jbref guys because it is free of cost okay and it helps you to manage your reference right so thank you guys but uh, before going uh, i would uh, ask you to if if you find this actually video helpful okay if you find this video learning then please do like comment and share intellect pentomat is coming with more such short learning videos and uh, online free program on fundamental analysis for equity investment please do register for the online program guys it is free of cost please do follow intellect pentomat on instagram and youtube because we are coming with more learning videos and online programs thank you guys